Carl Rove on where this is going. Carl, um, it's still an uphill battle to get this done, uh, whether it's uh, working with Republicans or even whether the numbers are there, Democrats going it alone. Wh where do you think this is going? Well, I think it is going to be difficult to, to get all of this done. Let's, let's look at the state of play. Biden started out with a $2.3 trillion infrastructure, so-called infrastructure package that included a lot of things in it that we don't think of conventionally as, as, as uh, infrastructure. The Republicans offered up $548 billion. Now, at this point, the administration has lowered its number to $1.7 trillion. And uh, the Republicans are up to $928 billion. So there's been some change here. My sense is that if this has a chance of passing, it's going to take two steps. The first step is whatever they arrive at it, bipartisan. That's why they're continuing. The administration is trying to continue to push the Republicans to raise the number and open it up to tax, uh, to paying for by tax increases. I don't think that's going to happen. So the, the choice is going to come down to do they want to pass $928 billion on a bipartisan basis? If so, they'll get a lot of votes for it. But let's not kid ourselves. There is a step two, which is to take the, the $1.4 trillion in spending that's not included in the, in the bipartisan uh, uh, offer that's out on the table and pass it on a party line vote using reconciliation so they don't need to have a 60 vote uh, threshold in the in the Senate. The trouble with that is going to be that that you know with only 5 votes in the house you've got some democrats in the house who say I don't want to vote for a corporate tax increase. I don't want to vote for higher taxes. And and that makes it very very iffy. That's why the administration is trying to push the republicans as far as they can because that makes the second step easier for the for the democrats if they get the republicans committed to large tax increases. All right, so let's talk Democrats only. If it goes that direction, um, it's, it's extremely dicey, if I can mix those words, to see that done, right? Because there are enough, you know, Democrats concerned about the tax increase that you pointed out and, and concerned that, that, that we, we, given the, the razor margins early in the House and the Senate, um, that would be tough. Yeah, it will be. Um, I mean, think about it. You, you only need one Democrat in the Senate to say, well, I can't take a tax bill that big, and you got to reduce the taxes and therefore reduce the package. And only five in the House, five Democrats in the House to say, you know what, I can't go back to my suburban district and say, yeah, I'm raising corporate taxes, I'm raising other levies, I'm going to make it more uh, difficult for farmers and ranchers to pass their uh, pass their farms and ranches on to their kids by raising taxes on uh, capital gains and on death taxes. So there are lots of, when you've got margins that narrow, it's hard to do something on a straight party line vote. And again, that's why they're pushing so hard to get the Republicans, if at all possible, to cave on some big issues that allow them to have a lot more revenue to pay for things that are outside the definition of of, uh, of, of normal infrastructure uh, and, to, and, to make, and to make the Republicans share some of the blame for what the Democrats all along have been saying. This is a big winner for us politically if we spend all of this money and raise all these taxes. But there's a recognition that, frankly, uh, it's not that big a winner. All right. So if this drags past, you know, the summer here, which is conceivable, then you're up against the midterms. You know, you're getting close to that. I'm, I'm wondering, yeah. time would be of the essence for Democrats, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's why I think they've been wise in saying we're, we're going to get this done. We're either going to come to an agreement here shortly or we're going to proceed on our own. But frankly, that, 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 that's a, a, a statement of realism that they got to, they got to start making the decision to either what they're going to agree to on a bipartisan basis and, and then because they, they're going to need a lot of time to try and get the, the, the package that is not agreed to by the Republicans. They're going to need a lot of time for the Democrats to try and push that through. Because, again, all you need is one Democrat in the Senate to say, I can't go for that, or five Democrats right. in the House to say they can't go for the party line uh, vote themselves, and, and they got trouble. Yeah, indeed. All right. Uh, Carl Rove, great catching up with you. Thank you very, very much.